Hey, what's going on? So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about this rigid vacuum hose extension that I've got. So I'm just gonna do like a quick unboxing and show you what's in the package. And you know, it's pretty simple. It's just a hose, right? So as you can see here, not only does it come with the hose, but it comes with a few different attachments. So depending on what you're actually hooking this thing up to, uh, it will make a difference. And these snap right in. So I'll show you how this all works. And there is instructions for each different assembly and what you're gonna be doing. And this is the dual flex locking hose. Uh, so they have little locker tabs on them, which is pretty cool. It's two and a half inch hose. This is seven feet long. And the model number is VT2520. Let's open her up. Yeah, very simply, this is the normal hose end that's on it that swivels, and then it comes with three different attachments depending on what you're hooking up to. So I've got this little shot back here, and the hose is pretty short, right? So I'm sanding all these 16-foot boards, and when I use this, you know, I can't reach the end both ways. Well, these are 12s. The 16-footers, I can't reach the end, and I'm dragging the hose and the, rolling the thing around. And it like, you know, it works, I can do it. But I have one of these extensions from my larger shop back that's in my trailer and on the job site all the time. And so I had this one actually laying around in the shop and I was struggling with this and I'm like, I should just open this right now and show people how it works. This current shop vac uses this system that I don't really love, but the hose screws on. So this end will have to stay uh, attached to the vacuum which means this is the end that I'm going to be trying to attach to. This is gonna be the end that I use for extensions. So this is the other side of the hose. And then on this side of the hose, I've gotta figure out which one of these is gonna work for this. And I already know that it's this one and that's it. And I don't have a locking mechanism for this. Um, if it was another rigid vac, then they do have this would this would work basically so and this is the same size with a locking tab and this is the same size without a locking tab so they do give you a bunch of options which is pretty cool so um, like this would connect onto there so if you had two of these and you wanted to make a whole super extra long thing you could do that and yeah so here we go now to attach this thing this you can see is a little wider here than it is here. So they make that, so this should in theory go right in there and there's like a, a bevel on this. If you can see it, not sure that you can try to see that. This has like a taper to it. So, so it'll go on and it won't come back off. So let's see if we can jam this baby on here. There we go, that's on. And it's not gonna come back off. So you hook it in like that. And now I've got my whole extension hose. So you can see that now the hose is twice as long. I can come down here and vacuum this end. And I can come all the way down here and vacuum this end and I'm not fighting with the vacuum where it is. All right, so that's basically it. I mean, it's a vacuum hose, right? One thing that I really like about this on my larger vacuum, uh, that thing can get pretty heavy, especially once it has a lot of dust in it, you know? So um, I can set that outside of a bathroom that I'm working in and be vacuuming in the bathroom and the vacuum's not even in the same room as me. And now that I have this other extension hose, technically I could hook this up to my other one and have three lengths of hose, which is gonna cut down on the suction, I would assume, but eh, maybe not, maybe I'll try it. Then I could be like in here and vacuum the other side of the shop, you know, that'd be cool. So anyway, if you got anything of value out of this, give me a thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and you're interested in other tool reviews and things like this. Uh, I also do business videos and how-to stuff. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.